fam, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary, and this is my bearded dragon, Santana. Who knows how long he'll stay here. He likes to free roam in the reptile room, so he might disappear in this video, but <laughs> he'll help me out right now. Um, anyways, I have a super fun video for you guys today. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you guys should. But if you do, uh, you should know that I, you know, I like the finer things in life. I, I'm a little bougie here and there, but I like to save. I like to save money. I like to ball on a budget. You know what I'm saying? So your girl is always looking for DIYs and deals when it comes to reptile supplies. Um, reptile stores can be pretty pricey and don't even get me started with Petco and PetSmart. They just mark those baby prices up so much um i mean there definitely are some things you need to pick up at the reptile store but uh i have some you know tricks that might help you out i love to go to walmart dollar tree daiso and uh, i am a big amazon shopper so i kind of want to show you guys the cheap things i got that work out for my reptiles um and also just a lot of you guys are always asking me like, where did I get this? Where did I get that? Sorry, there's probably like a siren right now and Capitan's losing it. Okay, so let's just start off with the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love the Dollar Tree. I used to go like a little too crazy in there and buy junk that I didn't need. So when you do go in there, kind of have a mindset of what you're gonna spend because it might only be a dollar, but I rack the bill up pretty quick in there. So let me show you the things that I really like at the Dollar Tree that I suggest you get. I probably have to talk to you guys a little bit about this stuff already, but let me just go over it one more time with you guys. I recently just went there, so I got my, I got a bag of goodies right here. <laughs> okay, so my number one thing that I absolutely love from the Dollar Tree is these vinyl cabinet liners, okay? So I absolutely hate reptile carpet because A, it's like extremely expensive. You can never get it to fit the tank. And I've read like some crazy things that it could build bacteria. I mean, you could wash it and stuff, but like it's basically just like fabric that you're spending double twice the amount of money on. So I refuse to use reptile carpet and align everybody's enclosure that doesn't need substrate with this. Um, like Santana, I have his full enclosure lined with this. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of like missing a spot because he got it like super dirty. So it's only a dollar, so I toss him out. I do like rinse them from time to time and then we re can reuse them. But like these fit absolutely perfect in my 20 gallon long tanks for my uh, leopard geckos. And I will show you that. I just think this is like a nicer idea than spending all that money on reptile carpet. this wood pattern looking one that they always have the Dollar Tree but they didn't have that one this time so I was stuck with like this one which I like for Santana's enclosure because it looks like spa vibes and then this one was like the closest thing to like dirt and sand um so yeah that is definitely like one of my favorite tricks and uh let me get my cord. I bought so many <laughs> because I use them so much for the guys who don't need substrate so I got these like I buy, I stock up. <laughs> like I, I love that stuff. <laughs> Can you come up here? Come on, people want to see you. Okay. There we go. All right. So cabinet liner. You can also find that stuff at Home Depot, but that's like fifteen bucks. Only a dollar, guys. All right, so next to my goodie bag, I got, a lot of you guys used to ask me back in the day, I'll post a picture of, I had my crested gecko in this like little bubble thing. I love to get these little air plant holders and I hang them up in my crested gecko enclosure, put a little paper towel and I will find them hiding in there all the time. Um, I have bought them in glass before, and I don't know what happened, they switched them to plastic. So I haven't used the plastic ones yet, but I'm sure they're just as fine as the glass ones. But yeah, my little crested gecko fits absolutely perfect in there. And I just think that's such a cute idea. So I got 
two of these. I've seen both of my Crested Geckos use these guys. I like kind of hide it in the corner and I'll put some, you know, vines around it to make it feel more secure, but I think these are so cute and a dollar. Um, I'm sure most of you guys already know this, it's only obvious, but the Dollar Tree has amazing fake plants and flowers, so I think these are beautiful. Um, not all of them are like the best looking and kind of look cheap to me, but sometimes oh, Dude, but sometimes you can find some really amazing great plants in there And I will show you some other ones. I have in my reptile enclosure Stay right there So yes, they always have a bunch of plants Sometimes I do think you need to go to the reptile store and buy those plastic plants because sometimes these aren't the best Those will get moldy in some enclosures, but like for leopard gecko enclosures and things that don't get missed that much, these are perfect for if you like to add a little color to your enclosures. Another thing that you can do DIY, and you guys already know this, but some people might, so I'm just gonna say it. Uh, you can get little containers like this and literally make your own hides, um, humid hides for your geckos, for your snakes, for anybody. Um, you do have to like cut them out yourself. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, this would be the perfect little human hide for a leopard gecko. You just have to cut a little thing for them to go in and tape it up so it's not sharp, but these make great moist hides and come in a pack of three. Quick and easy. I know they're not like the best looking, but you can also like add leaves to them, get creative when it comes to making hides because hides are super expensive. Um, I will show you one that I am absolutely obsessed with that's from Zilla and it was like 25 bucks. It's like aesthetically pleasing and my geckos love it. So I will show you guys that one if you are looking for a permanent hide because I have two of them and I have another one coming on the way. I absolutely love them and I will show you what I'm talking about. Actually, I'll just grab it right now. Okay, so I know I'm not talking about the Dollar Tree but since I'm on the subject of hides, you can buy this hide on Amazon. I think it's like 20 bucks but this is absolutely one of my favorite hides. Um, it's very heavy, opens up like that. You could mist it down. It just looks awesome and it keeps the moisture in there super well. I love this one. I will link this uh, little rock down below for you on Amazon. They do come in different sizes. Uh, the small one I think is way too small for like an adult leopard gecko but this medium size is absolutely perfect and I just think it's so cute. Moving on, I'm still on the Dollar Tree. Uh, there's so much you can get at the Dollar Tree, you just have to think creative um, and make sure it'll work and be reptile safe. You just, you gotta be creative when it comes to all of this stuff. So my last favorite thing that I get at the Dollar Tree is this little uh, dust pan because it's super small and it fits in like pretty much all my enclosures. If somebody makes a mess with their calcium dust or food all over the place and it fits absolutely perfect. So I know it might be obvious, but literally this is like, I use this every single day to help it keep super tidy. Okay, so let's move on to my second favorite go-to cheap spot and it's called Daiso or Creepy Daiso. I am so sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but literally it's like a Japanese Dollar Tree, except it's, you know, $10 the most expensive thing is there. But like, I am absolutely obsessed with anything Japanese, a Japanese culture I'm like in love with. I've been to Japan once and that store just reminds me exactly how Japan is. So I love going there. They have some really great stuff there too that you guys are always asking me where I where I got it. Um, I'm not really sure if Daiso is like everywhere. I know they're definitely in California. They could be spreading 
more in America and they should because it's a freaking awesome store. I'll show you what I get there that you guys are always asking me about. <laughs> Alright, so these are in Santana's enclosure and they're just uh, like, I think they're for dishes and they're like a little lift, but he likes to go on them all the time and hop around in his enclosure. It's a pretty darn big one. And I think like, like they're for dishes, you know, for cabinets. So <laughs> it's just a cool little rack. And I think this was like a dollar and he loves it. Obviously I'm going to put you right here. <laughs> okay. Next thing I get there and I got have multiple. They're just like all over everybody's enclosure. I just grabbed that one, but they have a bunch of little dishes like this that you'd put like, um, soy sauce in. And it's perfect for like water dishes for my leopard gecko or I put their calcium powder in. They're like 99 cents there. And they have always like cool different patterns and super easy uh, to clean because they are machine washable, which is awesome. So they just have a bunch of little goodies like that. Next item that I love is this little bench. Okay, it is tiny, but like if you're short like me and you have little racks like that that you need to get to, this little handy dandy still comes super handy for me. And then you guys always ask me about this one. And it's like this wooden little stand. It's pretty much like that, just a lot smaller. Um, I believe this is like for plants, but I put it in my gecko's enclosure and they kind of crawl all over it. So that one's kind of cool, I think. So yeah, that's like pretty much all the stuff I got there. Next door that I'm obsessed with to get reptile stuff that isn't a reptile store is I'm a big Amazon fan. Like it's bad. I need to like sometimes take my app off my phone because I just Amazon it, Amazon it. But I have gotten some good things and some bad things from Amazon. So uh, let me show you. I got a bunch of like, I have like way more. They're just in all, of, all over in everybody's enclosure are these like plastic plants. And they're pretty much a lot in my frog enclosure, but there was 15 of these cool little plants for like <clears throat> 10 bucks. And I thought that was worth it for all of my enclosures, um, especially the guys who need uh, misting down and like these will get moldy on them. So. I thought that these were a great purchase. Like I said, I'll link these uh, plastic plants down below for you guys if you want to check them out. You can also use them for an aquarium. They're, I think they're actually aquarium plants, but not like my reptiles here at all. <laughs> all right, so the next thing I got on Amazon, I liked them so much the first time, but then the second time it was kind of not what I expected. Let me explain. Um, so I bought these cool little coconut hides for my leopard gecko enclosures and it came with like three for 10 bucks or something. Like that, I'm not sure if I'm pricing on these right. Like I said, I'll link them all below. And I'm like, oh my God, these are so cute. They're perfect for my leopard geckos, you know? And I got another batch in, so I ordered another one. But this like, <laughs> this little mouth is a little bit shorter than this one, the opening, if you can see. So that's like the only complaint I have about them. But other than that, these are really great hides. Another hack that I got on Amazon was, I don't know if I'm gonna swing this over, is uh, I did Santina's enclosure in this um, like window privacy seal. You guys have seen it i've had it on here for like three months and it still looks amazing not orange not unpeeled it's so easy to like apply you can also use it for windows or pretty much like any enclosure um i have a whole video of how like easy it was to apply that so i'll link that video below hopefully i remember to link everything that i need to do. but um yeah my last little go-to trick for you guys is um if you have like a harbor freight home depot uh these come so handy and they're so much cheaper than what they are at the reptile store. Something like this, like with, you know, a reptile logo will be like 20 bucks. But at Harbor Freight, I believe I saw them for $13.99. I 
and you can even like get bigger ones. I mean, some people don't need this necessary big <laughs> water jug, but I do because I need to miss down a lot of people. So instead of spending that 20 bucks, go to do like your hardware store and get something like this. All right, so you guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope I helped you out, try to save money a little bit when it comes to these reptiles because like I said, your girl likes to uh, ball on a budget, huh, Santana? Um, thank you guys again for always checking out my channel. Do not forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and follow me on Instagram because that's where I post the most about these guys. Um, I love you guys, and until the next time, bye.